What up, dude bros? I'm Frank. This is a video review of the Nerf Fortnite SMG E, essentially a strife reskin. The Nerf Fortnite SMG E is a semi auto flywheel power blaster that's fed through Instrike Mags, a strife reskin. Let's get into the review. Included is the blaster, six round magazine, darts, and the instructions. External overview of the blaster starting up at the front, there is no in-strike barrel lug. There is no deliberate sling attachment point, but if you have a big enough carabiner, it will fit into this little slot here. Up on the top, we have an access door that opens kind of the wrong way, but very similar to the strife access door. Opening that allows you to get your finger in there to clear out any jams or malfunctions, but I did not have any jams or malfunctions with this blaster. Flywheel Master Race, oh yeah. <laughs> not that I'm biased or anything. It's worth noting there's no in-strike tactical rail up on the top of the blaster or anywhere on the blaster. This blaster is a serious lack of tactics, bro. Down below, we have the magazine well included as a six round magazine, which is a specialized uh, reskin of a magazine, but it is a standard in-strike magazine well, so you can use other mags if you'd like to. But the included magazine holds six rounds. Back to these buttons, the front one is the magazine release. It's just like the strife. You can push that to pull out the mag. If you're a right-handed shooter, you can just extend your right middle finger like that. I'm not trying to flip you off, or you can use your left thumb to pull out the mag. Either one works just like on a strife. Behind that is the rev trigger. You want to hold that for a moment before pulling the main trigger to fire. The main trigger is a mechanically operated semi-auto unit. It's exactly like a strife. However, the spring in this blaster feels a little heavier. So pulling on the trigger just takes a little bit more force than with the strife. It's not quite as smooth. If you're only firing with a six round magazine, it's really not a big deal. But if you're firing through extended 18 round mags, my, my index finger got a little exhausted. Of course, I stand still and shoot hundreds of rounds for my testing procedure, but for normal nerf, this probably isn't a big deal. But the strife has a superior trigger in my opinion. On the left-hand side of the blaster is the battery tray. You take out the single Phillips screw and then install four AA batteries. Being a flywheel powered blaster, it does not work without those batteries installed. Back here, we have this wacky cosmetic piece that can be used as a sling mount if you'd like to. Now down to the blaster's grip. It's approximately the same size as the Elite Standard, however, it's shaped quite a bit differently. As you can tell by just looking at it, it was designed from the ground up to look like something from a video game. It wasn't designed by an engineer. I complain about grips all the time, so that's no big deal. It works. It's not terrible. So that is the external overview of the Fortnite SMGE. You put in batteries, you load up your magazine, you hold down the rev trigger, then you pew pew. It's pretty much a strife. Starting with blue Nerf Elite darts out of the included magazine. Now switching to higher capacity mags. shooting some waffle head darts. Operating the Fortnite SMGE was pretty fun. It operates almost exactly like a Strife. Flywheel powered, a very similar form factor with a mechanically operated trigger. It's pretty much a Strife reskin. That being said, the trigger is a little heavier than the Strife trigger, so this is less comfortable to shoot. Other than that, operating it felt exactly like a Strife. The control group is almost identical. The access door is in the same spot. The magazine, well, everything's pretty much in the same spot. It just feels a little different. It looks a little different, and there's a serious lack of tactics. <laughs> no stock attachment point, no muzzle, no in-strike rails anywhere. I need my tactics, bro. <laughs> But I did not experience any jams and malfunctions firing this blaster through my testing procedure. To compare this blaster to other blasters on the market, I put it up on my chronograph and I achieved an average velocity of 68 feet per second, which is pretty much right on that elite par of 70 FPS. So you won't get out guns using this blaster. It's fairly standard. So no jams and malfunctions and pretty standard firing velocity. So that's the objective information I can provide on this blaster. So now to my personal opinion on this blaster. If you're a huge Fortnite nut and you really want a Fortnite blaster, this is a solid choice. I'm a huge fan of the Nerf Strife. It's actually my favorite dart blaster on the market right now. So if you really want a Fortnite blaster, this is pretty much a clone of the Strife. It's a reskin. Average firing velocity, no hiccups in the firing. It's a pretty fun blaster to use. But if you're not a huge Fortnite fan, go out and buy a Strife. It's a much better blaster. The Strife has an in-strike barrel lug so you can add cool looking barrels for the tactics. It has tack rails 
for more tactics. It has a stock attachment point for more tactics. It's just way more tactical. The Strife is a great platform on which to build because you can make it whatever you want. You can't modify this blaster. You can't put on whatever barrel. You can't put on a stock. So it's stuck in this very small pistol-like form. And if that's what you're looking for, it'll work. I still would pick the Strife because it has a much smoother trigger. But I get it. If you're a huge Fortnite fan, that's pretty much the only reason I would recommend you buy this one. If you don't care at all about Fortnite and these cosmetics aren't just like really awesome to you, go out and buy a Strife. It's better. Now I am going to rip on this option because the Strife, in my opinion, is just better because I'm a huge fan of tactics and I don't care at all about Fortnite, the video game. My regular viewers know I wasn't going to pick this over the Strife. The Strife is my favorite dart blaster on the market right now. But if you're super into Fortnite, this is a pretty good option because it's battle effective. It shoots well, it operates smoothly, it didn't jam or malfunction, and the firing velocity is pretty standard. So if you're looking for a video game inspired blaster that's not any more than you really need, it doesn't have an unnecessary barrel, it doesn't have the unnecessary stock, which is tactical and super fun to customize, but if you don't want it, you don't need it. So it works. It's a bare bones package. It's just kind of a bummer that they didn't put the stock attachment point, they didn't put the muzzle attachment point or any tech rails, but by the time they did that it would really just be a strife with a purple paint job. So I get why they didn't do it, and I seriously do love the strife, so if anything it's just a strife reskin. It's another option for those of you who don't like tactics. If there are any of you out there, it works. It's a solid buy if you're into Fortnite and you want a Strife, because that's what this is, a Fortnite Strife. So that's my review and opinion on the Nerf Fortnite SMGE. If you're interested in purchasing this blaster, I'll put a buy link in the description box below. That's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching, bros, and as always, stay tactical.